because, I mean, come on, his attacks on the lunchbox. That's what yeah. HLP stands for, right? So. He's the meaning Puff Smash 4, who's the best Smash 4 Puff. In terms of results, there is another Puff main here in SoCal, his name is Speklar. Um, they kind of are getting close to each other, but HLP just still has a few things over him. Reciting in the eight winning area where a lot of strong players live, so he does have a few victories over some players. Bro, you forgot about Sin too. Oh yeah, Sin. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> yes, all, yeah, the, yeah. all the Puff mains, they kind of just stayed. I mean, Puff, I think, is much better. Now she doesn't suffer the lightest character in the game trope anymore. Yeah. That, that honor befits uh, Pichu, who is, ironically, one of the best characters in the game. But let's go ahead and start this. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Usually I say Puff's main weakness is what it's always been, lack of range. But we Fit Trainer has oh, our debatably you. even worse range, so... I was about to say, at that situation, Threat almost got caught that, uh, that one. I like the fact that HLV sets himself at the bottom of the stage, though, because he knows a lot of the We Fit Trainers love to recover from the bottom. That's when it works best for them. So he immediately set himself there. There's a forward throw. Yeah, and I think just partly because of the lack of range that We Fit Trainer has, HLB is much more content to try and put you off stage and uh, approach actually all together and try and take your stock because most of the time the way we watch Hungry Lunchbox play is a little bit more defensive, a little bit more waiting around knowing that Puff doesn't have too many opportunities to open up their opponent but against a character like Weefa Trainer is definitely possible. Yeah, he's kind of got that bait and punish style of gameplay where he's waiting for his opponent to commit. Yeah. He's definitely not afraid to use the toolkit that Puff has going for all six jumps and every now and then. Especially to buy himself time, lands with that forward and gets in there with the grab, putting him off the stage immediately. One thing I do like the HLB does also as well, is immediately when he goes for a combo like that, he kind of waits to see what threat is going to react to and then immediately gets the punish. Oh, but the salute the sun, not going to quite get it. Sunny D was never a good orange juice. I'm just telling you right now, sorry about that. I think threat was trying to elicit Hungry Lunchbox to try and approach the, the soccer ball because he's been trying to hit the soccer ball back at Wii Fit Trainer a lot and it's been working out but he might have been trying to get a bait there but HLV just kind of saw through it and uh, continue forward but that forward tilt still has the power that it did in Smash 4. Yeah. Okay, HLV just trying to keep threat at the ledge here. Got the neutral yet again. Has him off the stage forwarder. That'll take it. He sees the end line that the ball has there. And that's one thing that HLV was able to catch. Like, if you're going to commit to the option, you also commit to the end line that has, and especially off the stage, where your primary objective in this matchup should be how to figure out how to recover and avoid getting hit by Puff. You're committing a lot with the volleyball for sure. Yep. He tried to mix it up because it looked like he was jumping over every time he tried to mix up the timing, but HLB was thinking, okay, he stayed in the air in place, so it looks like he knows like, that he has to mix it up, but I'll just mix it up even further. HLB still, yet again, just trying to get into threat. At this point, he's got a life lead, so uh, that's why we're kind of seeing HLB go a little bit more in. It's that, sorry, that down air. Of course, down air. If you guys don't know, uh, Weefer Trainer still has both hits from a lot of the moves. Down air has a front hit, which would be her arms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Weefer Trainer, one of those wonky hitboxes, especially like you know that uh, was a forward air and has a spike at the foot or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, going in with that dash attack, threat actually trying to keep things close here, but HLB with that nair, putting him off stage one more time, and just classic <laughs> melee gameplay since or gameplay since melee, just the bears at the ledge, just applying so much pressure. And it's kind of good that we do see HLB earlier, right? He goes for the retreating there, right? Trying to see if his opponent go for going to go for a defensive option, a roll perhaps. And he's able to snuff that out. Yeah, great space on that. We fit the trainer's grab is not the greatest. Oh, the up smash just went in for it, but still not enough. Didn't have the deep breathing. So not quite getting the knockback that they needed. Retreating there yet again. Trying to see if Threat feels a little bit safe coming in. And he goes deep, and there's the final hit there for HLB. We got to switch him seeing to Gamer Stand Threat at the last second because he knew all the chips were on the table, and Threat was so close to taking it over him. Yep. At that exact moment, I think he was waiting for the jump to come out. And then as Threat was drifting lower and lower, he realized it was not coming out, so he just decided to go in with it. Because yeah. every time... HLB started to move forward towards him off stage. The jump came out immediately, yeah. and then he was able to go around it. But that time, he got too scared. Didn't want to do it. One thing that HLB is also really good at, historically speaking, is catching your jumps too. He knows if you're gonna go at that form the ledge, you might be using a double jump instead of your recovery right away. So he he knew what he had to do. Just wait for the option, wait for the commitment, and then go for it. Let's see game two here. Gonna switch to FD. I totally forgot the name of the stage, man. <laughs> it's because we don't even play out, honestly. We fit. Yeah, we. I, no, uh, is, is, isn't it just called We fit studio. We fit studio. Oh, studio, studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it's called. In my opinion, one of the coolest, uh, coolest stages to have as an FD. But anyways, let's get into it. HLB with this edge guard in play. 
Okay, yeah, the, the front hit of that forward air Stand decides to beat out your hips uh, HLB's your back air, actually. Worked out for him. I like the timing from Thren here because he is mixing up when he goes for the volleyball, and that's kind of what we've been seeing him do. Goes for the up smash. That actually would have probably killed HLB for sure on that one. Oh, oh he wow. went too low. You gotta Threat be careful really now. wanted the reversal, but it got weak fair, so not as scary, but uh, we fit trainer, not the best uh, out of shield options, especially when the opponent's behind you, too. Yeah, and there it is from HLB. Pretty, pretty trademark here for him because he actually waited for Threat to be going for that one. Wait for the volleyball, wait for the commitment, find the punish there, that situation. And that's one thing I feel Threat needs to stop doing towards the ledge. I totally see why it would work. He wants to keep HLB on the stage and stop him from going for the edge guards, but when he has a situation like that, you should primarily focus on recovering back on the stage. Oh, just try to do run up down smash. I like the mix up noticing that HLB was crouching, but HLB one step ahead, brings out the jump, and again trying to go for this reversal. Doesn't find it, but at least it allows him to make it back to the stage. So he hasn't been punished yet, but still I'd be careful. One good read from HLB on a re attempted reversal, it could be another stock very easily, especially at a percent like 65. No double jump. Oh, get back. He for it. This is going to be pretty tough for Thread to come back on the stage. Double forwarder, and that'll take it. We, we talk about the, the marks of HLB and how he comes around from the ledge here, and it's going, it's it's, a, it's an under U shape, you know? He's going under him, he's waiting for the volleyball, he's waiting for all the coming bang, misses the rest on that one, and finally Threads gets the stock. Yeah, I mean, he was up a lot of percent and the stock, so why not? Yeah. And he's still got another fresh stock to work with. I mean, the set, the rest setups sometimes are a little bit unreliable, I can understand why. He's waiting for it, oh, and he's got the falling up air, but it's still not enough. Unfortunately, rest not quite killing is still around the 40, 50s range that you want to try and get rest or if you get one of those higher ones with dare to rest or something like that then you can uh, potentially get the kill really early get the recovery back on the stage here looking to see how threat was going to come back from the ledge possibly able to roll there's a quick stall hlb just using my low profile kind of showing trademarks of hey you know i know what my character strengths are especially with the low profile so Oh, uh, that they are unfortunately not going to beat out that option from threat the upper look like oh and that's kind of <laughs> <laughs> there it is. He, re <laughs> he waited for it because he knew he had it at that point. Oh man, Threat should have just been mashing, man. Like yeah, he, you, you could have like, made it out. He playing with his food, like he could, he should have mashed, man. But it's all right. I, I don't know if he was, but yeah, HLB just having some fun. <laughs> yeah, the little the little spin on the down smash. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what Pokemon move that is because I know.